hello everybody welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am going to be showing you three different eyeshadow looks with the new color pop hocus pocus collection i know that i said this video was going to be out the next day after my last video but you guys i have two jobs and a teen daughter and it is extremely extremely hard to find time to do anything so i apologize but i also wanted to tell you that there is going to be a hocus pocus reunion it's on some channel i think kpr on the website and you get to buy tickets it's a virtual event but it sounds really fun i'll put all of the information in this in the description box below i just found it today on twitter and i thought i would tell you guys because i'm really excited uh but anyway let's go ahead and get Get started with the eyeshadow looks to start off the first eyeshadow look i am going to be priming my eyes using the p louise eyeshadow base in the shade 2.0 and to apply the primer i'm just using a flat concealer brush i really like to use this brush because it gets right under the brow and it's just a lot more precise for primer application so i am starting off with the black eyeshadow and i'm just using a small pencil brush to start packing this color right into the outer corner inner corner and in the crease this is going to be a halo eyeshadow look so whatever we do to the outer corner we want to also do to the inner corner as i mentioned in the swatch video these a lot of these eyeshadows have the micro glitter in it like the tati beauty palette does but you can still use them as mattes and it looks beautiful it doesn't affect the blendability or the pigment and you guys will see in the end it just looks really really beautiful but anyway let's continue with the eyeshadow look here i'm just taking the same brush and just softening the edges Next, I am going into the shade Bewitched and I am just going to start packing this right up above the previous color and I'm also using a small pencil brush. going back to the black eyeshadow and using the same brush that i used earlier i am going to start adding a bit more of the black into the crease and i'm just doing this because i wasn't too sure how i liked the two colors together so i just decided to go back and try to blend them first before moving on to the next color so i'm just basically adding a little bit more black and blending and then i went back to the shade bewitched and packing the color again and then doing a bit of blending so we're just basically repeating the same steps just making sure that we like the color combination For the transition color, I am using the shade on toast and I am adding it with another pencil brush and again just adding it right up above the previous color. Once I have the color added, I'm switching over to a blending brush and I'm going to start blending. and now here comes the hard part so this is where blending takes forever and i am going to basically repeat the same steps as before so i'm starting off with the green shade and packing that color on and blending i am then going to go back to the black eyeshadow and pack and blend 
the green shade gave me a really hard time it was the only shade that i had trouble blending and i've heard that greens are really hard to uh, i guess make or something i don't really know but um yeah it was it was hard to blend so i want to say it took me maybe like 30 minutes to finish blending so i'm not going to show you guys the entire process but again we're just repeating the same steps packing blending back and forth until you are happy with the pigmentation and the blend i also forgot to mention that i repeated the same process for the transition color as well so don't forget that part you basically just want to repeat all of the steps until you're nice and blended Now moving on to cutting the crease. So I'm using the P. Louise eyeshadow base again in the shade 2.0 and I'm using a concealer brush and I just lightly start to make the shape that I want. Again, can't show the whole process because it takes me a long time, but you just want to be really careful. I usually just like to do these little padding motions and that works for me, but whatever works for you is completely fine. <laughs> and now that the hard part is over we can have a little bit of fun so since this is a halo eyeshadow look we want to create the same gradient that we just created on our eyes so i'm going back to the black eyeshadow and i'm just going to add that to the edges of both sides of the cut crease Moving on, if you guys can guess, we are going to apply the green eyeshadow since that was the next color in her gradient and I'm just adding that right next to the black eyeshadow. Next, I am adding the silver to the center of our halo eyeshadow look. I'm only showing you guys this part because I wasn't sure what I really wanted to do with this eyeshadow look but I do end up going over this color a bit later on um, so next I decided to add a bit of the shimmery green and again I'm just trying to create a gradient and after I looked at it a lot of times I didn't like the way that it was looking so I just went back into the shimmery green gold shade and I ended up just going over the entire center of the halo eyeshadow look with that green gold eyeshadow Next, I am going back into the black and green matte eyeshadows and I'm just adding it back into the edges of the halo just to have a little bit more of a gradient in the center. I know this look is a bit of a mess right now and my instructions are all over the place, but anyway, hopefully it's not too bad. I ended up creating the sharp edge with a q-tip and just cleaning everything up. And finally the look is starting to look a little bit decent so next I am just going into this eyeshadow and applying it right to the brow bone. Next I am taking the black eyeshadow and applying it to the lower lash line. I also did apply a little bit of foundation and as you guys can see it looks a lot better. I don't know why, I mean I know why, but yeah foundation makes the eyeshadow look look much much better <laughs> for the waterline i am using this black pencil from makeup forever moving on to mascara and then we get to apply the lashes so i only have one style of lashes that they sent me i showed you guys the lashes in the swatch video but they are in the style flirty witch and please excuse my nails i ended up biting my acrylics off and my nails are just so gross but anyway this is the final look for the first eyeshadow look 
I know it was a bit of a hot mess, but I hope that you guys really like this eyeshadow look. I loved the way that it looks. I didn't think I was going to like it because I was unsure about the entire thing the entire time, but I do love the way that it turned out. So anyway, I hope that you guys like it and let's move on to the second eyeshadow look. Starting off with the second eyeshadow look, I am again priming my eyes using the P. Louise eyeshadow base in the shade 2.0. I'm starting off with this beautiful brown color and again I am using a pencil brush to start packing this color. This one I actually wasn't too sure of what I was going to do so I started to pack it on the outer corner but I decided to basically just pack this color all over my lid and my crease. For the next color, I am going into O Toast and I'm just applying this right up above the previous color. And for this color, I'm not doing a packing motion, I'm more doing side to side and I'm starting to blend this color since I decided to make this look a lot easier for you guys. So we're not going to be doing like anything crazy, no cut creases or anything like that. So basically just add the color and start to blend. Next, I am going to start to build up a little bit more pigment. So I'm just going back to the two previous colors using the same blending brush and going back and forth blending and adding color until I'm happy with the way it looks. And now I'm adding Hello Salem as the transition color using the same blending brush. Next, I am taking Full Moon and adding that right to the brow bone just to add a bit of highlight to that area. Next, I am using the same color to highlight the inner corner. Next, I am using the same crease color for the lower lash line. Now I'm switching over to an angled brush and I'm creating a line in the lower lash line inner corner area. I'm not sure what this is called, but anyway then i went back in with the white color and filled it in next i am taking one of the glitter eyeshadows and using a silicone brush i'm applying this all over the lid and a little bit into the crease because since i do have hooded eyes uh, the glitter will end up transferring to the crease anyway so I do take up the glitter up into the crease just a tiny bit you don't have to take it into the crease but I do feel that it looks better when you take it into the crease a little bit and I apologize there's a dog barking outside taking the same glitter eyeshadow and the same silicone brush I am also adding a bit of the glitter to the lower lash line just to give us a little bit more extra sparkle and for the waterline i am using the copper pencil from the collection next i am going to create a wing and again i was not sure what to do with this look or actually any of the eyeshadow looks so 
right now the look is rounded out in the outer corner but since i decided to add a winged eyeliner i am going to be cleaning the edge with a q-tip i really don't like the way that it looks when it's rounded and then you have this sharp wing so usually if i do a wing i do recommend that your outer corner is also nice and sharp but again it is personal preference whatever you guys like best will work just fine so for the eyeliner i'm using a ColourPop black eyeliner i do end up switching over to the Too faced eyeliner the reason that i ended up switching over is because i wanted to make the wing a bit thicker and a bit longer and i just like the tip of the Too faced liner much better honestly the Too faced liquid eyeliner is my favorite eyeliner of all time uh, but anyway yes moving on and also really quickly i decided to leave most of the process of me creating the wing because i get a lot of questions on how to do a winged eyeliner so i feel that it was best to leave it in there for you guys to kind of see the process that I do when creating my wing. Anyway, for mascara, I am using the Fenty Beauty mascara. And for lashes, we're using the ones from the collection that I received. Again, these are in the style Flirty Witch. And I'm using these for all of the three eyeshadow looks since I did not receive the other two styles. But honestly, these lashes look good with pretty much every eyeshadow look and they are really comfortable to wear this is the finished second eyeshadow look i hope that you guys like it it wasn't as complicated as the first one but let's go ahead and move on to the last eyeshadow look Starting off with the third and last eyeshadow look for the ColourPop Hocus Pocus palette. I am going to be priming my eyes again with the P. Louise eyeshadow base in the shade 2.0 and I am bringing the primer down to my lower lash line. I know it looks excessive. I used to do this all the time. I haven't done it in a long time but I just wanted to try it out again and anyway for the first color I am going into that dark matte purple and again using a pencil brush to pack the color into the crease. Next, I am taking the lighter purple and again, using a pencil brush, I am going to start packing it right up above the previous color and I am also going to soften the edges and as you guys can see, these colors are almost identical to each other. At first, I was really nervous that it was not going to look okay uh, but once i started blending the edges i could see that it was definitely lighter so yeah don't get too scared they are very close in color but definitely two different colors
and for the transition color i'm going into hello salem which i think is the only transition color in the palette but anyway i am using a small blending brush and i'm just going to apply this right into the transition area and i'm going to be doing packing motions but also blending the color at the same time and now here comes the fun part again <laughs> we are going to just build up pigmentation and blend and i know it i try to show you guys as much of the process as possible but it's really hard to get everything in one video i'm just going back to all of the colors that we've used and repeating the same process so packing and blending packing and blending and you want to repeat that process until you're happy with the way that it looks so again i am going back to build up pigmentation and to blend so again repeating the same process packing and blending and yeah once you're happy with the pigmentation and the blend you can stop blending i want to say the blending process usually takes about 20 minutes uh, especially if you want the look to be really really pigmented like this you can definitely do what we did in the second eyeshadow look where it doesn't take as much blending but yeah if you want it to be very very opaque and pigmented you have to go through the packing and blending process and now moving on to better things i am dipping back into the white shade and applying it to the brow bone for highlight one more time i really like this color i think it gives a really subtle but really pretty highlight and then after i add the highlight i always like to just blend the transition color a bit into the brow bone color just to have it look a little more seamless if that makes sense and then here i'm just playing around with the look it never looks okay to me ever so at some point i have to learn when to stop i figured i would show you guys this because i know most people don't and it can really be a struggle when doing these types of looks so don't be afraid to change your brushes as many times as you feel that you need to don't be afraid to go back into any colors as many times as you need to uh, yeah okay so now we're moving on to cutting the crease and to cut the crease i'm using the p louise eyeshadow base again but this time i'm using it in the shade zero and that's just a little trick that i like to do to cut the crease since i do have hooded eyes i like to apply it to my lid first and then I open my eye and wherever I see that transfer is what I use as my guide to cut the crease and that is my discord friends in the background I know um, anyway don't make fun of me I love them but yeah so for this one I am doing a little bit more of a complicated cut crease so I am using a brush from Michaels it's just a very very thin brush and I'm creating this sort of shape like winged out cut crease I guess is what you would call it I'm not really sure this you want to really take your time with and just be as precise as possible once you have your shape you can go back to your concealer brush and just fill it in and then for the outer corner I just switch over to a smaller brush and fill the rest in and I don't know if you guys took a guess but I am gonna take a q-tip to clean off the outer edge since this is going to be a bit more I mean it's not really a complicated look but obviously we created a winged cut crease so 
we have to make that edge really sharp and for the lid i wanted to add this purple at first to see what it would look like but i didn't like it so i decided to go over top with the shimmery purple pink shade i guess you would call this and yeah i just basically went over the entire thing with this color Next, I am going to be adding a wing and again, I am using the Too Faced liquid eyeliner and I, it did have these little hairs sticking out of it because I closed it the wrong way and I actually was trying to do my wing with it that way and it was extremely hard so I did end up cutting it and it actually didn't affect anything but anyway you want to just line up the wing with the outer edge and the end of the cut crease also this video is a lot longer than it should be because I'm showing you guys my mistakes so I originally wanted to add the glitter from the collection over top of the wing but it ended up being a very very bad idea because for some reason this glitter doesn't really dry fully i guess uh, it basically ended up transferring all in my crease i ended up having to take the eyeshadow completely off and starting all over so this is actually my second attempt without the glitter over the wing liner so definitely don't add the glitter <laughs> just keep the wing the way that it is and now i'm just adding the white to the inner corner so do add the glitter over top of the lid color that ended up working just fine so to be honest i don't know if it was the glitter that did it or the combination of this particular eyeliner with the glitter i didn't have an issue with the glitter being all over the lid i didn't have transfer this way so you're definitely safe to do it this way so anyway i am taking that glitter shade and i am just adding it all over the lid and finally moving on to the lower lash line i am dipping into the black eyeshadow and just adding that with a pencil brush and to blend out the black i went back into the purple shade and i'm just adding that with a tiny blending brush for the waterline i tried adding the shimmery purple from the collection but i didn't like the way that it looked so i just went back to the black pencil from makeup forever and i was much happier with the look and i did decide to add foundation for the final look since it makes everything look much better so i just went back into the purple and just fixed up the lower lash line a little bit not something that you guys will have to do but just showing it to you in case you're wondering why my skin looks different for mascara i am going back to the fenty beauty mascara for lashes we are going back to the only lashes that we have from the collection in the style flirty witch and that's it this is the completed third eyeshadow look i hope that you guys liked all of the eyeshadow looks let me know down below which one was your favorite and yeah thank you guys so much for being here and watching don't forget to subscribe before you go but remember even if you don't i just appreciate you being here 
here and also don't forget that you can follow us all over social media it is at glitter beauties the same way that is spelled here i do have a coupon code for color pop as well i'll leave it in the description box below if you guys want to use it i don't make any money off of it i think it's just a tracking code for them for pr but i'm not really sure how it works to be honest but anyway thank you guys so much for watching and i hope to see you on the next one